Hello, I am Nimcha, and this is Maybe Dreaming. This file is like a memory of a dream or something that I've seen or heard when I was asleep. Something that didn't quite make sense and yet it all fit together. Pieces of different puzzles that somehow twisted into a cohesive narrative that I was doomed to follow. In the end, I don't know if I was sure or just maybe dreaming. I don't really know where to begin. Like many dreams, it sort of started in the middle. Walking. Somewhere on a well-lit street. The street lights casting shadows with every step. The weird silence somehow punctuating every single move I made. A tension in the air, and yet bright sunlight blinding me every now and then, just sneaking between the clouds like little rays of teasing light. The more I walk, the more I could feel the cobblestone beneath my feet, the wide street beside me opening up far behind me, and in front of me it seemed to stretch out into infinity like dreams often do, perfectly straight. Yet the houses felt close, a silent alleyway where it almost felt constricted. The more I went deeper into the dream, the more I felt like I was being observed. There were no windows, no houses, only trees all around. The crunching leaves beneath my feet betrayed that this forest path did not see as much traffic as I would like. Here in the dark it was difficult to navigate, just barely enough light by the moon to see where it would lead me. The musky leaves leaving a very intense scent in the air. I was being completely alone. No birds, no critters, just the deafening roar of the leaves moved by stormy winds. And the more I walked, into the forest, the more I felt myself drifting into a destination that I couldn't comprehend. I knew I was heading somewhere. The gentle scent of flowers appeared to lead the way, and it was very important to get there. I wasn't chased, I was all alone. And the beautiful fields around me greeted with golden waves in the wind, gentle blue skies calling. And in the distance, a few curves away, there was an old ruin. Behind it, the sun was setting, almost calling me towards it, a destination that didn't seem to exist. 
I had to get away from the city behind me. The streets there were too straight. And with my feet on the cobblestone, the street lights the only visible dots in the darkness. I just had to keep moving forward, deeper into the dream, walking, traveling. I was all alone observed by so many eyes. There were many windows, lights behind them, casting shadow on the thin alleyway. The perfect silence masked the wonderful floral scent still guiding me. The wide paved road led all the way towards some kind of building, modern, fresh, new, glass and steel, lit, but empty. So many silhouettes seemed to hide away wherever I looked. And the more I went into the dream, the more I knew I had to get away. I tried to run. My legs didn't seem to want to move at the speed that I desired. I could tell the silhouettes were closing in. Others, nobody. Simply trees that punctuated the landscape. Curved roads that begged to be explored. Paths that split. All I could do was follow the dream, drifting deeper into the reality that I knew wasn't there. I was all alone. Gently rustling leaves seem to invite the waving of the stalks of grain around. The warm scent of paper and a hint. The narrow, sandy road seemed to twist and turn and just tempt me to turn around. And yet I knew that I needed to get away from where I was before. I needed to get where I was going. And the dream wouldn't be done until I got there. Deeper and deeper into the dream, the wonderful fantasy where nothing was what it seemed. Maybe dreaming, maybe awake, only to drift deeper. The musky leaves littered the cobblestone. Nobody had swept here in weeks. Autumn had fallen. A drift in the wonderful sense of spring. The alleyway brought me to the big street where I needed to go. The bright blue sky was hidden behind the street lights, casting shadows on my footsteps. The silence blinded by the storm. A deafening flash of light, the sunset hiding with brilliant colors of reds and orange, yellows and blues, so many hues leading 
into the soft scents of petals. One tiny dewdrop glistening in the light invited me closer. It seemed to slowly want to fall from those colorful petals, a flower of unimaginable sunset colors, a glisten, a tiny movement, and so ready to draw, causing ripples down below that seemed to spread out over the ground, the surface of the lake appeared to reflect a world that wasn't there, but I was. I could feel my footsteps on the surface slowly returning to where I was. I knew I had to be there, and what I would bring back. I don't know if I could remember. Dreams have this strange tendency to evaporate so easily in the light. It all made sense. It was all maybe dreaming. As I walked back to my own consciousness, I could slowly feel my mind returning. Alleyways and ruins, forests and buildings, everything worked together to lead me to the one place where I knew that I was there. Sometimes the world even seems like a dream, and when I'm awake, it's difficult to know if that's really what I am. I knew I was heading somewhere, and right now the only place was to wake. I hope you enjoyed the story, and thank you for listening.